Welcome to the Serious Online Teacher Guided Tour. In this video, we'll show you how teachers can use the key features of the Serious Online system. We'll cover these key topics in our video. Setting up a new class, navigating a course, making assignments, exploring the Assignments tab, supporting student work on assignments, reviewing and evaluating student work in the gradebook, accessing student scores and reports, getting support, and updating your profile and logging out. This video assumes that you have already been registered in the Serious eLearning system and know how to sign in. If you need help with registration, please refer to the Serious Online Getting Started Guide or its accompanying video. After logging in, you will see the Classes screen, which serves as a dashboard that gives you access to many key features. The top part of the screen has links to the major features that you will need, including your classes, assignments, reports, and support. In addition to the main tabs at the top of the screen, you can click any of the blue text to jump directly to key items. For instance, the class Salazar Algebra Period 1 has two assignments ready to grade. You can click the number 2 to bring up a list of those assignments. Use the links at the bottom to jump directly to the online courses for this class, the class assignments, the class roster, or the class settings, where you can change the image associated with the class. Be sure to add the appropriate courses to each of your classes. To do that, click the Course link at the bottom of the class. This class already has two courses associated with it. If your school does rostering for you, you will not need to add classes. Regardless of registration method, you will need to add courses to your classes. A list will appear showing the courses that are available to you based on your school's purchases. You can check the boxes next to the course or courses you wish to add to your class. The new course will appear on the Courses page for your class. To view the contents of a course, click the Open button or anywhere in the title. After you open the course, you will first see the top-level organization for the course. Click the Open button on a section to open it. Let's take a deeper look at navigating courses with Algebra 1 EOC. To begin, click Course followed by the Open button to see the full contents of a course broken into main categories of content by type. The introduction contains the table of contents and other resources to support planning and implementation. Diagnostic tests are used first in the instructional flow or sequence. Lesson content and STAR practice comes next. Finally, POST tests, followed by supporting success, and relating resources and materials. You can return to the main dashboard view by clicking the Class tab. Within a course section or subsection, you will find lessons, tests, and practice activities that you can view or assign to students. Let's start by assigning the diagnostic test. You can first click the Open button to review any content. The diagnostic test will open on screen. You can see the content the same way that students will. You can also project it on a screen or large monitor in your classroom. In Computer Graded Assessments and Practice, you can navigate to the next screen or question by clicking the Next arrow to move forward screen by screen. You can also click Go To to view the number of items in the assessment or practice and navigate directly to question items in the item navigation bar. To exit, click the X in the upper right. 
Now that you have decided you want to assign the diagnostic test to students, click the Assign button. You can set the start date and time for the lesson. This is when the assignment will first appear on students' assignment lists. You can also set the due date and time. After this time, students will no longer be able to access the assignment. You can also type in special instructions for the students that will appear when they open the assignment. Finally, you can choose to assign the lesson to your entire class or to multiple classes. A note will tell you how many times you have assigned the lesson. You can click the blue text to see all instances of the assignment. You can click the Edit button to make changes to the assignment. For instance, you may want to extend the due date for an assignment, change its status, or modify the student instructions. Now let's look at the Assignments tab. Click Assignments at the top of the screen. This screen lists all the assignments you have made for all of your classes. You can use the filters to restrict the list of assignments to particular classes, students, or date ranges. Click the circled eye icon to get information about the lesson and assignment. You may see information about relevant prerequisite skill lessons. You will also see any student instructions you created for the assignment. There are two types of assignments that students will work on in the current version of Sirius Online. Computer scored tests and star practice and teacher scored lesson work. Students access assignments from their dashboard or navigate to the Assignments tab. To begin an assigned test or practice, students click the Start button, read the instructions, and then click Next at the bottom of the screen. They can navigate through each item on screen by clicking Next at the bottom of the screen. For tests in test mode, for example this diagnostic test, students respond to each item and click Next. There is no on-screen feedback or hints given to students in test mode. Students click Next and respond to questions by clicking or entering their response to the item. Students can flag any item they wish to skip over for now, and they can click the Go To button to see a slide tray of all the screens they will be working with. They can jump to items they've flagged earlier and respond to them, and continue on in their work finishing the activity. Once students have answered all questions, they submit their work by clicking the Submit button. If students do not click Submit, their answers will not be scored, and you'll need to instruct them to submit their response. For students who have been assigned lessons, they can click Start to begin their lesson work. Students respond to content on screen through the use of notes, highlights, or by drawing directly on screen. To submit work on lessons, students click the Submit button in the upper right of the screen and then confirm by clicking Yes. For students doing assigned computer-scored STAR practice work done in practice mode, they will have the opportunity to receive feedback based on their first attempted response. They can then try again, show hint, view sample answer, or show correct answer. Students can use a variety of tools that mimic the STAR test. Some programs have other subject-specific tools. For example, Algebra 1 has formulas, a graphing calculator, and graph paper. Or they can use speech and audio tools in the upper right to access text-to-speech, translations, a dictionary, or a Pictionary. Teachers and students can learn more about available STAR Mimic tools and other accommodation functionality in their STAR Tools tutorial available within their course menu. Teachers review student work in the gradebook. For lesson content, teachers will see a pencil icon and be required to manually grade and then enter a score for assigned work. 
In this example, teachers view student responses made within the note feature. When teachers have evaluated all student work, they can then enter a score for the lesson and then click Save. Teachers can then enter general feedback by clicking the feedback icon and entering and then saving comments. To review computer scored practice and assessments, click the Gradebook button for that assignment. In our example, we are reviewing results for a diagnostic test. The information for the assignment appears on the left. On the right side, you will see a list of students in the class who have done the assignment, along with information about the status of the lesson for each student. A status of not started indicates that the assignment is available to the student. Submitted indicates that students have turned in their work. Assignments that have been graded show a score in the grade column. Click either the score or the view link to open the student's view of the assignment. Use the horizontal previous item and next item to view a student's work item by item. You can leave notes on any item or screen if you'd like, or change the score on that item if you want to override computer scoring. Be sure to click Save. You can use the vertical previous student or next student to view different students for the same item in the assignment. To exit your review of student work, click X in the upper right. When you have reviewed all student work on the test, be sure to release grades by clicking the Edit button in the upper left. You have control over releasing grades to reports, releasing grades to students, and allowing students to review their work when all classes have finished, for example. Finally, you can also leave a brief note for the student if you wish. Just click the bubble in the feedback column, type your feedback, and click Save. Once students have completed work and you've released scores, you can export the data from an individual assignment to a CSV spreadsheet from the gradebook. After locating a gradebook assignment, click the Export button and then select the Item Analysis Report, for example. Then send an email containing a link to the CSV spreadsheet to an email address of your choosing. Once you receive the email, click the link and launch the CSV spreadsheet. Review the general information at the top of the CSV. For each item, you'll find the duration of use of each item in seconds, as well as the type of question and points received per item. Each item is worth one point. More powerful reporting awaits in the Reports tab. Access the course report on the right of the screen for each class and drill into each course or content category by clicking the caret. You can view student performance in this report as well. To view a single student, click their name in the column header. To view standards reports, click the Reports link in the breadcrumb menu and then View Report in the Standards Report field. Click the caret in the upper left and expand the report. You'll note color coding according to four star performance levels masters, meets, approaches, does not meet, as well as when there is not enough data to indicate how students are performing against standards. You can also filter the report based on reporting category, clusters and subclusters, as well as readiness and supporting standards designations. Please see our more in-depth video on reporting for more information. If you need access to support resources, click the Support tab at the top of the screen. You'll navigate to a support landing page that allows you to access online support resources, participate in our online educator community, or create a ticket if you need technical support from our customer care team. The final element of your dashboard deals with your profile. If you're self-registered, you'll be able to update a limited amount of information, including your password. If your school does rosters for you, you'll be able to change only your profile icon. Finally, you can log out from the Account Profile icon. 
And that's all there is to getting started with the Serious Online e-learning system. Remember, if you need to see this video again or find answers to other questions, just click the support link at the top of the screen.